Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you why it is now more than ever, I believe Cardano is going to that $7.50 range. Now before this sell-off had even occurred, we had came on here and we said, look, we are aiming for seven dollars fifty. We think we could um, surpass. We think we could surpass that and actually go further uh, towards that sort of ten dollar mark. But seven dollars fifty, in my opinion, was a conservative price prediction. We're going to be revisiting that in this video, going over whether I still believe what I initially said, and I'm actually going to be showing you on the Cardano chart why it is I believe now more than ever that we are going to get to that price. We called this price prediction out well before this sell off, and something very interesting. When when we overlay a Fibonacci on this sell-off, we can see what that now takes us to. Sometimes in markets, you need to go down in order to go up, and that perhaps is what we're seeing. Now, let me just make this very clear to all of you out there. I could be 100% wrong. I've told you on numerous occasions, I am all in crypto. I can lose, if cryptocurrencies go to zero, I am largely going to be all right. I'm young enough. I do not have as many responsibilities as perhaps some of you do over there, certainly financial commitments. And I can just pick myself up and dust, my, and dust myself off. Ultimately, it wouldn't have been great, you know, but it would have been a learning experience and I can be all the better for it. There are some of you out there that really should not be betting more than you can afford to lose. And I don't like to use the word betting because ultimately this is a calculated investment in my opinion. Um, and I've been here for four years and have seen worse sell-offs than this, guys. Ultimately, one thing that I want to touch on before we get into Cardano and on a four hourly chart, guys, which we're going to start on before we get into the bigger time frames and show you exactly why it is that we believe that $7.50 price prediction is looking more likely than ever, despite the recent sell off is you can see in Bitcoin and every single one of you by now would have heard of the Wyckoff distribution schematic, which essentially we saw play out beautifully. And this essentially indicates that we now have the composite man that Wyckoff spoke about present in this market. So there is somebody or a collective group of people trying to manipulate this market. And I believe this is ultimately just a big shakeout. Now in the video that we did earlier, uh, and I'm gonna quickly go over this, we, we essentially worked out the Elliott Wave Theory for um, uh, Bitcoin. And essentially you had a very similar structure, which I think is very much worth me mentioning. This was where our one wave finished. And you have a similar kind of structure forming here to your Wyckoff uh, schematic that we then had um, recently but we obviously know that we had more of a significant sell-off at the end of this um, i think this was largely due to, to to leverage longs you know from that 38k range all the way down to 30 was largely liquidations that occurred on longs so the entire market still depends on bitcoin and ultimately right now it looks like it depends on these guys that are manipulating it um, we could go lower that is absolutely a possibility but on the four hourly time frame yes we are below all these moving averages however we are forming a bit of a W pattern that I believe could see us break to the upside. We could continue to go lower and get pinned below, but what we need to see is we need to see a decisive move, a move with some momentum that is gonna take us above these EMAs and we're gonna continue this bull run. That is still largely dependent on Bitcoin. Now we gave our $7.50 price prediction, largely based on something called the Elliott Wave Theory. Now I still believe that is playing out. Remember guys, this fourth leg can literally come right down to this two, uh, this fourth wave can come right the way down to this two wave. It just can't go below it for us to still be in a kind of Elliott wave theory. Now we mapped it out and we're gonna quickly do it again, guys. And I wanna show you something before I map out that fifth wave that is very, very interesting. And remember that, and the reason I'm telling you this is because it's all gonna make sense in a second. We didn't actually even have this sell-off take place in Cardano just yet. This is how our theories kind of constantly evolve. But ultimately, the price that we gave you, there is now another confirming factor, in my opinion, that we are going to reach that once this sell-off is finished. And remember, I could be wrong. We could be entering a bear market. I don't think we are. Um, because most people are basing the fact that we're going to enter a bear market based on how severe this sell-off was. I think there are a number of variables in regards to this sell-off, like the leverage longs. I think if you take them out of the equation, the sell-off wasn't as severe as perhaps um, you know it, it, it seems. And I also think in parts, in, in an emerging market, <coughs> and we covered Amazon with you guys, you, volatility is a, a kind of inherent trait of an emerging market, and you do see severe sell-offs. Um, and you know, one thing is, you know, if this market is being manipulated to shake you out, that really is another indication that there is true value in this space. And people know about that and have a vested interest in making sure you don't make money from it. Now, remember, we didn't even have this sell-off and we said we, we thought we had been through our fourth uh, leg 
but I think we are currently going through it. Now, what I want to do, guys, is I want to overlay, and we're going to move this third uh, leg for the time being. I want to over overlay a Fibonacci retracement tool on here um, to kind of show you where we're at. Uh, let's get it. Now, we're going to overlay this, guys. Now, I want you all to remember that we set that $7.50 price prediction before we had this sell-off. We set this roundabout in this capitulation uh, area and prior to that. Now, what I want to do after I've laid this Fibonacci retracement tool is I want to show you where this takes us. Now, the ex overextension brand takes us to around about $7.79. Isn't that funny, guys? how we we hadn't yet had this sell-off so we couldn't have uh, overlaid this fib on here because it hadn't yet formed now it has formed we take our local high all the way down to our to our uh, our low uh, or our previous all-time high all the way down to our uh, our previous um, low we overlay the fibonacci and it gives us round about our price prediction so essentially we still do believe first of all we don't believe that this bull run is over second of all we still believe that cardano is going to go to a price around about seven dollars fifty Remember, it might not happen, but I think there is a high likelihood of it. And I ultimately think once you're done with this sell-off, once you've done with this ABC correction that's taken a bit of a brutal form, you are indeed then going to be set up for more continuation in this bull market. Because we are in a macro bull, regardless of what things do on a shorter term time frame, the overall trend is still up in my opinion. And ultimately, you know, this is just another confirming factor of why I believe this fifth wave is gonna take you to around about that $7.50 and beyond level. Now, that being said, it's largely ultimately dependent on what Bitcoin wants to do. We know, and it's been another reconfirming factor that the entire market just follows Bitcoin. This is how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you say that's unfair. That's just, you know, life isn't life isn't fair in many ways. And, and that's just part and parcel of the game. So we're ultimately waiting to see what Bitcoin does. But when we kind of put everything together, it's strange how things work out, isn't it? You know, when you kind of do, uh, I'm, I'm really a novice TA guy. I never claim to be anybody who's, um, you know, a genius that's been doing this for years and years. I've been here for four years, which is still a relatively short time in comparison with some people. But we don't get everything right, but we've got a lot of things right so far. And ultimately, I do still believe that we are in a bull run. I can't see this being the end of it. We've made longer videos discussing that we are still in a bull run. And ultimately, in something like Cardano, you never, the fundamentals have never been so strong. You know, we know, and we spoke about it on a number of occasions, and I'm just reiterating it to you all, that Cardano um, is essentially going to be rolling out smart contracts soon. They are in their Alonzo testnet, which is the last part of the Gogan era, which is going to allow smart contract capabilities to come to the Cardano network, and which is going to allow um, a whole ecosystem to be built on top of it. This is going to increase the, the demand for Cardano massively and actually mean that there is a lot more usage on the network. Now, uh, when exactly the smart contracts are going to be compatible is, you know, we've got a rough time frame, but ultimately the test nets at the end of this month, and then they're going to do a series of test nets. It'll be multiple test nets before the main net is rolled out. And I think this is going to see Cardano's price do very well. Ultimately, we need to see Bitcoin recover. It's looking like it's fighting at the moment, fighting for its life. And like I say, I could be wrong, guys. There is the possibility that we do enter a bear market. But I don't think that is the case. Um, I think that this is just a, a pretty severe shakeout that's been amplified with things like leverage, et cetera, et cetera. Here you have an article that's just come out today. Why the Carlyle uh, groups, David Rubenstein says governments can't stop cryptocurrencies. This was really as a response to the whole IRS coming out and saying you need to, um, uh, you need to let them know about transactions over $10,000. This is part of what's coming for the crypto space. Regulations are a part of getting mainstream adoption. I know that they don't necessarily, uh, regulations align with Satoshi's vision, um, but this is just kind of the natural progression of an asset class. You know, it needs to get regulated in order for it to see mass adoption, certainly in the Western world and, and many parts of the world. Um, there are pros and cons to it. We're not gonna go through them all on this video, but the main point of this video, guys, was I actually do still believe Genuinely, I'm not just saying this for clicks. I'm not just saying this so you watch the video that Cardano is going to achieve that $7.50 price range. And it's very funny that we, we kind of called for that. And it's not just us calling for it, guys. There are a number of YouTubers out there that are also making the same call. There's nothing special about me on this channel. The only thing that maybe separates me from somebody else is I've been here for uh, the time period that I have. And I've spent really four years learning about the crypto space. And it's you know, back in 2017 when I got involved, after the crash, I was left kind of looking around for reasons to stick around. 
and the fundamentals, the technology, the ideologies, the, the individual projects were what really kept me here and kept uh, that kind of fire in my belly burning. And I'm still here to today. And even if we do go into a bear market, this channel will still be here. I'll still be here. We'll still be bringing you updates every single day on not only Cardano, but the wider crypto space. It's time like these where I've said to you, I'm really going to get aggressive on my content in the sense that I'm going to be pushing a lot of information out because this is the time period to learn, ladies and gentlemen. When the price aspect of things goes down and it doesn't look so great, I'm not saying it doesn't look great now, but certainly we've had a sell-off that's shaken lots of people out. The best thing you can do is walk away from your portfolio, not look at the monetary value of it and learn about the space. This is going to help you in the long run. And it's what you do right now in times like this that is going to make you a good investor. I truly believe that, guys. That is really all I have for you in this video. I just thought it was very weird. I'd get on here um, because lots of people ask me, do I still believe that Cardano is going to reach that $7.50 mark? Yes, I do. Do I still believe we're in a bull run? Yes, I do. The only real factor that people are saying the reason that we're not in a bull run is, is based on the fact that we had a sell-off as severe as this. We've already spoken about the variables that were involved in this sell-off. And ultimately, I think that we are going to recover from this the same way we recovered from March, um, uh, which was actually more of a severe sell-off, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. People forget about this, but for people like me that were a part of it, that was a 62% sell-off. We saw around about 55% sell-off recently. We recovered from that. And I ultimately think that we are going to recover from this. You know, Bitcoin has already proven its resilience time and time again. Ultimately, Bitcoin's the driver of the space. When it starts to move up and starts to flourish again, you will see the altcoins do the same thing. And a project like Cardano, I mean, the only way is up in my opinion. I could be wrong, just my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Do not buy or sell anything based on what I'm saying on this channel. However, um, I certainly wish that I'd had somebody like myself to um, sort of um, listen to when I got into the space. Um, and that is really all I have for you in this video, guys. So I'm gonna love and leave you on that note. If you've enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment, your feedback, whether it's good or bad. Um, if you have um, a disagreement or something like that, instead of just you know putting like lol or something in the comments, maybe tell me um, what your disagreement is because perhaps you have some information that I don't yet know about and we can all learn from it. Um, try and make your criticism constructive. If you wanna just vent in the comments, that's fine. I'd probably suggest going and getting a punch bag that might uh, maybe let out a little bit more of that frustration. Um, but yeah, all I have for you in this video, guys, like, comment, subscribe, because we're bringing out content on a daily basis. And we're going to be here with you every single day, regardless of whether we're in a bull or bear market. That's what this channel is all about, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next YouTube video.